about two weeks ago, we talked about Gina Carano's movie, and she was molding online because a journalist for The Hollywood Reporter pointed out that the movie only made $804, and they had this huge Twitter exchange back and forth, and now there's another angle to the story that I missed that is equally hilarious. Gina Carano fans call her new film More Woke Nonsense, and then this right here, this had me rolling, Joanna Wick. <laughs> that's that's good honestly that's that's pretty clever i mean if you think about it it makes sense that this would be one of the main critiques of the film and why even conservatives seemingly weren't interested in it because if you think about this i mean this is a film with a strong female lead right she's a strong woman who's defying gender norms if you watch the trailer she seems pretty badass admittedly so if this were just a normal Hollywood movie and you're a conservative and your brain has been completely rotted to its core, you would say that's woke nonsense. So they're being shockingly consistent here and they're saying, well, yeah, this is a uh, this is more woke nonsense. And I find that so funny. So uh, and by the way, I have more reviews pulled up. We'll see what they have to say. I, I assume that on the Rotten Tomatoes page, we're going to see mostly libs dunking on it and lefties shitting on the film. Uh, but I, I'm particularly interested in what conservatives have to say about this film because I think that their critiques are so hilarious. Carano fans criticize Terror on the Prairie on social media claiming that the film is too closely aligned with the woke Hollywood values. <laughs> One reviewer go, uh, going by Let's Go Brandon... <laughs> called the film more woke nonsense and criticized women for being strong like Arnold in Terminator, coining the phrase Joanna Wick. That's too good. That's too good. Another person criticized the film's, quote, feminist messaging, complaining that the Daily Wire should stand against traditional values. I think that they meant stand for traditional values and against wokeness of Hollywood. See, they like Gina Carano, because they don't like that Hollywood canceled her. But the films that they ideally want to see her in include her as the uh, subordinate submissive housewife of some badass um, like boomer. And she's just in the kitchen washing dis dishes, um, serving her man, being a nice little trad con wife. Like that's what they envision when they think about non-woke movies for her. But that's not really like her her forte i mean was she not like part of the usa the ufc or mma she was some fighter or something like that right or a wrestler i don't know what the fuck she was doing but she was doing something to that effect um so she it's kind of more i think suited for an action role but they don't like that because then that's too woke um so let's see here some of these user reviews by right wingers are really good so this is from uh, wild Gearders. Okay, so here's the full review. This is what I want to see. Now we're getting to uh, the good stuff. One out of 10. Wow, Let's Go Brandon is pretty ruthless. One out of 10. Not even like a two or a three. Uh, half hour in, bunch of nonsense. So he actually watched it. All the men give up their revolvers. All the men have stormtrooper aim. Woman, strong like Arnold and Terminator and Predator Bullseye's weak men. Joanna Wick. <laughs> this is barely coherent, by the way. It's almost written like a, a haiku, but maybe that that isn't the best descriptor for it. Um, all the firearms have no recoil and unlimited ammo. Uh, the men were rebels, aka veterans, but have IQ of potato. How did they survive the war? Boggles the mind. There's also a disgustingly and disturbing scene where the teen son watches the mom feed the baby okay now that is woke okay if we're gonna normalize natural things like a mother breastfeeding her baby that's just too woke so i don't know if this is the same reviewer let me see here it is it's a different reviewer because this one 22 out of 43 found it helpful um so this one here uh we don't have a name but they say watching this movie made me realize the pattern that is forming with daily wire movies they all follow strong independent female characters who either have to rescue the men who are incompetent or defeat the men who are evil if i want the feminist messaging i can go to hollywood they have plenty of that this is supposed to be daily wire a company that stands for traditional values and against the wokeness of hollywood right 
If it were one of two movies from them, I wouldn't have a problem. Hell, movies like Alien that follow strong female protagonists are some of my favorites of all time. I just want some variety from DW, especially in an era where masculine men are increasingly rarer and under attack. Strong 4 out of 10, not good. Another review. P.S. I love The Daily Wire, but how the hell did this happen? You got a woman as a star. <laughs> this, is, this is so good. This is so good. Gina, Gina, Gina. This is what happens when you get in bed with these freaks, right? They will never respect you as a strong female lead, okay? They just want you to confirm their pre-existing biases. You could have been a, like an action star, movie star, and you gave it all up for Terror on the Prairie, which your own side is shitting on. <sighs> P.S. I love The Daily Wire, but how the hell did this happen? Even uh, every Daily Wire movie is about strong women, and with this one, it is no different from a Disney movie that has an unlikable female protagonist who uh, we are supposed to like, but they make her unlikable and crazy. I'm rooting for The Daily Wire, but come on now. P.P.S. Add Matt Walsh to the entertainment department of Daily Wire. I know for a fact he would have made some much-needed corrections, and he made a fantastic documentary just a few weeks ago. Yeah, because you know that Matt Walsh, the explicit fascist, who is a self-described theocratic fascist, so I'm not being hyperbolic, he would not stand for this bullshit. He would bring them back to reality and force them to make a movie where she's exclusively in the kitchen and taking care of children. That's all that they want to see. This is so, this is so funny. Um, okay, let's look at some other reviews because I'm curious what other folks are saying here. Uh, I was curious to see Cowboy Cerrone. By the way, in my original video about this movie, I was wondering who the f Cowboy Cerrone is. I'm like, is that like literally your first name? That's your legal name, Cowboy Cerrone? Turns out that is his... Uh, moniker for wrestling or fighting or whatever the fuck he does um kind of like the rock so now i know thank you for correcting me people i am not in the world of fighting and and shit like that so i was completely fucking clueless uh anyways this person says i was curious to see cowboy Cerrone in his acting debut in a very simple film simple role where i think the baby's crying was the one who had the most scripts and lines in the entire movie, plus the main bad guy. Seriously, there's definitely not much scripts in this movie. I mean, there's simple lines here and there, and that's about it. The movie stays in idle at the same spot in its entirety, and there's not much lines to play out or say throughout the movie. And as for Gina Carano, this is a similar role to the last movie she made, Daughter of the Wolf, which didn't have many lines for Gina in that movie as well, uh, even though Richard Dreyfuss was in it. So it doesn't seem like this person is specifically taking issue with woke nonsense, but they do seem to just think that the movie is objectively bad, which makes sense. It looks pretty bad. Seems like a lot of people didn't watch the movie. So we have a defender here. Nate is coming through. It's a white knight for Gina Carano, his mommy. Uh, seems like a lot of people didn't watch the movie. If you didn't watch it in its entirety or don't understand it because you turned it off halfway through, don't come here to complain. Damn, they're going to bat for this. Some of these reviews seem to think it's before the Civil War. Clearly, they didn't get even eight minutes in or comprehend what the movie is showing them. Um, okay, maybe the movie's just bad and they turned it off. So is that their fault or the movie's fault for not grabbing their attention? Native Americans show up for all of two minutes to get some medical help, yet someone talks about them in the review like they're fighting with the family on multiple occasions. Hey, idiots, stop commenting on stuff you didn't watch. Talking to you. Oh, he's, he's straight up dropping names here. Marcus. My, damn, he's taking it personally. Ben, is that you? Is this Ben Shapiro logging on to respond to the, to the reviewers? has a lot of potential. So, seems like a fair review, three stars. The film needed a better editor, three stars. It's almost like you need Hollywood because those people know what they're doing and they're talented and they make movies because they know what people want to see. Um, which is why, again, Gina Carano, so sad that you couldn't keep your mouth shut and just not say completely insane things because you would be an action star right now. You were an action star, but you threw it away because... You wanted to make sure everyone knew that you thought that Republicans were as persecuted as uh, Jewish people during the Holocaust. 
The camera work is terrible. Most of the shots are shot from a fixed position, and there's just these long clips of characters walking or running when they could be cut down and shot from more interesting angles. Okay, this is actually a substantive critique because this is one thing that rubs me the wrong way. Uh, I have no patience. And so when I'm watching movies, if I see something where they can cut that out, then... I, I want them to cut it out. I will complain about it because like this is them just not respecting our time. So I, I respect this person's review here. They know what they're talking about. So this person loved it. Exactly what I needed out of a movie. It's not Tombstone, but it was artistic, great cinematography, original storyline and no agenda. Mm -hmm. Have you heard from Let's Go Brandon? Haven't uh, read his review apparently. Okay. Yes, it's a simple film as others have uh, has have termed it. Uh, though quite suspenseful, but we know that the film's uh, what the film's real merits are that it's a breath of fresh air from the woke ideology that is infused in the rest of Hollywood. Is it though? I mean, is it woke? Is it anti woke? I don't know what to think anymore. Wow, 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 this was disappointing. I really want Daily Wire to succeed, and they have in the past, but not here. There have been plenty of other comments that stress the issues with this movie. I won't go in detail. There are a few contemporary westerns that do well. I really wanted this to show them up. And one last comment. No recoil on the final long distance shot. Like what? There was already so much I was disappointed with. But that was like the cherry on top. <laughs> These people shoot worse than the stormtroopers. That's the second comment that compared the shooting to stormtroopers. A woman with a shotgun and former soldiers can't hit each other from the opposite sides of the same window four feet apart. The army sharpshooter couldn't hit the bad guy who was standing in the open with his sniper rifle off a rest from 30 feet away, though he killed a coyote from 125 yards earlier in the movie. Worst fight scenes I've ever seen. It just looks like a low-budget, corny-ass movie. That's what that's the vibes that I get, and it seems like the, uh, the uh, reviewers are reinforcing my belief here or my expectations i should say for the movie w one last one okay what was the plot even about picking on a fight with someone who has got nothing to do with you or whatsoever calling them over for food and then stripping them off their of their belongings only because they're okay they're the way that they wrote this is so difficult to read because they were minding their business no story and unwanted violence definitely one star review okay fair enough so um the reviews are in, and The Daily Wire's movie with Gina Carano is too woke. <laughs>